All right, in this ROS2 tutorial, I will show you how to use substitutions in your launch file. Substitution lets you use command line arguments to customize your launch settings when you run the launch file. I will show you how to create the package, make the launch files, go over the code, build the package, and test out running the launch file with user-defined input arguments. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So let's go ahead and create our package. So we're going to CD into our source folder and then make our package called launch tutorial. So now we have our launch tutorial folder uh, created here, as you can see. So we're going to make a launch directory. So um, this will contain all of our launch files. And we're going to update our setup.py file. So this is the original setup.py file. And then our new setup.py file here you see that we have added this OS and from glob import glob, and then this line here, which will allow us to find all the launch files in our launch directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then paste it into this new setup.py file. So that will be our updated um, setup.py. And then we want to go ahead and copy our, um, our launch files over. So we're gonna put it into our uh, launch directory. So we have two launch files. So we have our example main launch.py and example substitutions.py. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and then paste it into our launch folder. So these are our two files. And then the typical structure is um, here we're having a launch, a main launch file, and then this main launch file will call the other launch file. So here, let's take a look at the structure of this example main launch.py file. So here we have a generate launch description as usual. Um, these are all of our imports and we have a return launch description. So we're using include launch description, which we have imported. And then we have a py launch description source. This will tell us where it is. And then path join substitution will help us uh, structure our code so that it specifies the location of our launch file. So here inside, we're going to be calling our example substitutions.py launch file. And the arguments that we get to set are these options here. So we have turtle sim ns for namespace, use provided red, new background r, and then we have the text substitution here for the background r. Okay, so this is a structure that we're using for our main launch.py file. And inside of our substitutions.launch, uh, our example substitutions.py.launch file, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we have here a generate launch description. We have turtle ns use provided red and new background r. So these right here, we're using launch configurations, which we're declaring. So you can see launch configuration comes from launch substitutions which we're utilizing in this example tutorial. So here we could specify declare launch argument. So this will set up our launch arguments when we try calling the launch file, we get to specify our own values. So here we have one for each of the three things that we mentioned. And then here we could start off by setting up some of our nodes because you'll see here when we return, we're returning the three arguments and then we are returning the node, turtle sim node, the spawn turtle, and the change background R. And then we have a timer action here. So for the, for the turtle sim node, you can see if we just go up to here, we have our usual node, a package, namespace, and executable. And then we have a spawn turtle, which is an execute process. So this will mimic our command line. So ROS2 service call, turtle sim ns, spawn turtle sim srv, spawn, and our desired um, command that we want to send it. And then here we have a change background. This will be the command to change the R value for the background. And then here is a change background R condition. So execute process condition equals if condition is this, 
if it's true, equal to equal to 200 and use provided red, then it's going to execute. So the command that it'll send will be the ROS2 uh, param set and turtle sim and s and background r, new background r. Okay, so that's the general structure. So with these two, we just need to run the main uh, launch file and the main launch file will launch our example substitutions launch file and then this will get everything up and running. So we have already copied over the files. So next up, we just want to go ahead and go to our workspace and then build our launch tutorial package. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. This will build our package for us. So you can see here we have built our package. So now we get to source and then run our example launch file. So here you can see it changes colors as we expected. Okay. So now we could see the arguments for the launch file. You could see we could run this here. This is uh, we run ROS2 launch launch tutorial example substitutions dash dash show args. So this could be like a helper. This will let us know how to call our um, arguments for a launch file and the expected format. So here we could go ahead and run our, run our launch file with arguments because previously we ran it with the default. So if we go ahead and do ROS to launch, uh, launch tutorial example substitution launch.py, and then here we have the turtle sim, turtle sim3, and we have our use provided red equals true, new background r equals 200. So here we're actually running the example substitution launch.py file directly instead of the main. So if we go ahead and run this, you can see that um, the color change as we see, and that's pretty much all it does. Okay. So in our next video, we're going to talk about launch file event handler. That's a pretty useful one, so go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.